Hi friends. So the most important part of this exercise is the story that you're about to make. For the first part, we're going to be learning some techniques to create two building blocks of story, character and environment. For this part of the exercise, you're going to need your six panel page from the kit, a pencil, and an eraser from your own stash. I'm just using the one that comes at the back of my pencil. This page is the thumbnail page. Thumbnails are rough drawings that help inform parts or the whole of your final project. It's a way to plan your piece, which always makes your final work look better, but it's also a great moment just to spend with your own thoughts. We're not going to try and make a perfect drawing on this tiny piece. We're just doodling in a way, and when we doodle, we unlock our natural storytellers. I want you to build your story with two main elements, a character and an environment. We'll be thumbnailing the first on the top three panels and the second on the bottom three. Look at this inspiration photo from the Zotz Collective. As a viewer, it sparks so many questions. Who is the central figure? Are they big or is the niche small? Is this their home? All of these great questions come to mind without the piece itself being too complicated. Sometimes the more exciting characters are simpler in shape. In fact, this is so much the case that one popular character design exercise is to take circles, rectangles, and triangles and to combine them with different sizes to create a character design. So go ahead and fill your first three panels with your own combinations of these three shapes. The next thing you want to do is join them together with an outline and let the character emerge from the page. You can erase the center lines to make room for more details and interpretation. Don't question the first thing that comes to mind. This is just a practice, so we're free to try things without worrying too much about how it looks. Okay, so I have a few. I really liked the way this sort of wolf hedgehog thing turned out. I think I'm going to really be going with uh, this direction in my next uh, versions. So you may need to do a little bit more drawing before you find a monster you're really in love with. Don't worry, there's extra paper in the pack. Um, when I saw the inspiration photo, I also really loved how the central figure was super big and I knew I wanted to create my own shy giant who loves the cozy space of the tiny niche. So for that reason, my piece is going to be really caved themed. So that brings me to our next building block. We have our character, but let's talk environment. Our next three thumbnails are going to be about our environment. That's where our creature lives and maybe plays. Our niche, but also any artwork, is a beautiful stage on which our character can inhabit themselves. And environment is such a big word, so I like to divide it into three parts to make it simple for me. That's the foreground, or the front of the scene, the background, or the back, and the midground, which is somewhere in the middle between these two areas. So as I'm figuring this out, I also like to think about perspective. Whenever we look at a great big field, we see that things typically get smaller in our field of view as they get further back. But we can also play with this arrangement. Arrangement. I know I want three elements, so I want some rocks, I want my character, and I want some trees. And I'm going to arrange them in different ways in my thumbnails so you can see how it really changes the story. For your part, think about what you'd like on all three planes and use the three boxes below to experiment about their order. <laughs> As you can see in my drawings, I've got the same three elements. I've got some sort of lumpy rock shapes, some tree shapes, and my creature here. But just by reordering those three elements, I'm really telling a different story each time. 
So once you've filled in your six squares, choose one or two that you like, and you'll have your character, your environments, and the beginnings of the story that you're going to tell. Mm -hmm.